okay ravi let's proceed ahead with your uh, you know fluid mechanics you are going for uh, jammu and kashmir public service commission assistant yes, engineer post right yes sir so, so we will start with you know capillary effect ravi tell me what is the physics involved in capillary effect uh, sir actually uh, capillary effect uh, we see a rise or fall in the liquid when we uh, dip a capillary tube inside it it is basically because of the cohesion or adhesion property of the fluid if the fluid has more cohesion it will not stick to the capillary uh, tube surface and that uh, will lead to form of a convex meniscus and will uh, lead to fall in the uh, uh, level of the liquid on the other hand if the liquid had more adhesion property that will tend to stick to the surface of the capillary tube and it will form a concave type meniscus and liquid will rise in the capillary tube Mm. okay so uh, what what is the you know uh, application of the capillary effect uh, sir actually uh, capillary effect uh, applications of capillary effect are uh, somewhat uh, we uh, um, we come across uh, while we are washing uh, washing our clothes their capillary effect can be seen that uh, if a uh, if a liquid have more ad uh, adhesive uh, adhesion property that will tend to wet the cloth and remove the stains from it Mm. Okay. So, yes, so uh, what is the relation between capillary and uh, surface tension? Ah, uh, sir. Actually, uh, mm -hmm. if a if a fluid is having more surface tension, ah, mm -hmm. uh, uh, th that is because of the cohesion property that ah, uh, uh, for uh, that will fall in the uh, the level of liquid will fall in the capillary tube. For example, mm -hmm. we uh, take the example of mercury. It is having a high high surface tension, mm -hmm. and if we ah uh, Uh, we observe a capillary action in the mercury. The level of the mercury will uh, will fall in the capillary tube. Mm. Ravi, can you tell me some properties uh, uh, of uh, mercury? Yes, sir. Sir, actually, we uh, mercury is uh, uh, is having high density and low pressure. Mm. We use mercury in uh, thermometers because of its linear expansion. That is uh, thermally linear expansion property. Mm. it expand linearly when uh, it is subjected to temperatures manometer mein mercury ka kya role hota hai why mercury is taken in manometer as a fluid uh and what is the property of mercury which makes it suitable for uh, mercury uh, sorry sir i am not able to uh, i am not able to recall it Hmm. Okay, so uh, Ravi, now tell me something about you know laws which you study in fluid mechanics. Sir, there are actually uh, uh, various laws we study in fluid mechanics, such as hydrostatic law, Pascal's law. We study in fluid mechanics, hmm. and uh, there are also other uh, principles that we study, uh, like uh, uh, Bernoulli's principle, etc. Hmm. Okay. So, can you tell me something about the continuity equation? Yes, sir. Uh, sir, actually, uh, continuity equation is basically uh, a equation that tells there is no, uh, you know, uh, for incompressible fluid, the area into velocity product remain constant. Hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Okay. Can you can you tell me what are the assumptions behind this continuity equation? Uh, sir, there are uh, uh, assumptions like uh, the fluid is incompressible. Mm. and uh, uh, and the uh, flow is steady steady uh, steady incompressible flow we assume uh, 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 in the continuity that... equation na? yes sir mm. and bernoulli equation uh, sir the, uh, the flow is steady and incompressible is also considered there and the flow is in inviscid and flow is also irrotational uh, uh, is an assumption for a bernoulli equation mm. okay so can can you use bernoulli equation across a turbine hydraulic turbine across a hydraulic turbine uh sir i i think we cannot use bernoulli equation across the hydraulic turbine but we use uh, that bernoulli equation across the draft tube of the turbine hmm. What do you understand by draft tube? 
sir it is basically a, a draft tube is a, a conical section that we use at the exit of a reaction turbine uh, it is used to basically increase the uh, net head of the turbine and uh, uh, that uh, exit uh, uh, the pressure is also utilized in the uh, power production of the turbine mm. can you tell me ravti what is cavitation yes sir sir uh, cavitation is a phenomena that we generally observe at the exit of the turbine uh, uh, where the pressure of the exiting fluid is very less than the atmospheric pressure and the bubble starts formation a bubble formation starts taking uh, take place and when the bubble travel to the uh, high pressure region they start to burst there and the uh, during uh, due to the bursting of the bubbles there there is a uh, uh, there we see phenomena of material removal or uh, Resting of the that component that is called cavitation. So, do you observe cavitation only in turbine? No, sir. It, sir, it is also observed in the inlet of the pumps, centrifugal pumps. What about nozzle? Uh, sir, yes, sir. We can uh, observe cavitation in nozzles also, uh, where the pressure uh, uh, decreases drastically. Mm, okay. How can we prevent cavitation? Uh, sir, like in example, uh, uh, in turbines, we use draft tube also to prevent uh, that from cavitation. And uh, 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 by using draft tube, we uh, uh, exit the uh, that fluid coming out of the turbine into into the sump. We do not exit uh, it at a atmospheric uh, pressure. Mm. Okay, what what do you understand by uh, this uh, boundary layer, Rabdi? Uh, sir, boundary layer phenomena is basically a phenomena that is observed when the uh, fluid uh, flows over a stationary flat surface. Because of no slip condition, the fluid that is in contact with the stationary surface uh, temporarily comes at rest, and there, uh, uh, you know, uh, velocity gradients are observed. Mm. So, uh, the velocity gradients are observed, and the uh, about a certain thickness, the 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 velocity of the fluid becomes the actual the free stream velocity. So the uh, the uh, separation where the velocity gradients uh, are observed is called boundary layer. Mm. Okay, what what do you understand by uh, Reynolds number? Uh, sir, Reynolds number is uh, a ratio of uh, uh, inertia force by viscous force. Mm. Uh, so uh, mathematically, it is equals to uh, rho v l by mu. Okay. What is the significance? Why do we calculate it? Sir, Reynolds number we calculate uh, uh, to know about the type of flow of uh, our fluid. That uh, uh, if the flow of fluid is laminar, turbulent or it is in a transition state. Mm. Okay. Okay, Ravti, let me give you the feedback. Yes, sir. Ravti, now in fluid mechanics, you have to revise your flow. You have to maintain your flow and you have to do small mistakes. जैसे कंटिन्यू इंडिकेशन में कोई एजम्पशन नहीं होता ओके तो वो अब बुरे उसमें है मेरे को लगता है मैराथन भी आपने सुना नहीं है पूरी तरह से आप एक काम करो आप जो चार पांच मैराथन है उनको सुन लो चार पांच बार ओके सर मर्क्यूरी में क्यों यूज करते हैं मैनोमीटर में मर्क्यूरी क्योंकि इसका स्पेसिफिक ग्रेविटी बहुत ज्यादा होता है 13.6 है हैवी होता है ये यस सर तो रो जी एच हाई प्रेशर कैन बी मेजर्ड डिस्कशन हुआ है इसका बड़े वहां पे डिटेल में तो आप इस सारे को रिवाइज करो रखते आप वो सुन लो मैराथन्स बार-बार अदरवाइज सुपरफिशियल नॉलेज लगेगा आपका जो इंटरव्यू में आपको बेनिफिट नहीं देता उससे लॉस हो जाता है इट लुक लाइक सुपरफिशियल राइट सो रिवाइज इट वेल ओके ओके